Hello my friends, I'm Jana Eubank. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you are here. Today I am working yet again with my January 2023 Hip Kit Club and I am having a blast. When I ordered these kits, I ordered the main kit, the extra papers so that I have two of each paper and then the embellishment kit. I have already created two layouts with this kit and I'm on to my third. I'm going to be using this grid paper for a background. I love the little pastel dots. It kind of reminded me Easter time. And then I'm also going to be using up all of these mini envelopes that came in the embellishment pack. I have used these mini envelopes on the other two pages that I've created already, but I thought it'd be fun just to pile the rest of them together here on this page. The photo I'm scrapbooking today is of my kids, my four kids on Easter a few years ago. Two of my daughters have a bright red dress for Easter that year, which isn't a typical Easter color. And so but I was drawn to using it with this kit because there's soft colors but you also have those bright orange and red orange tulips in this kit so I thought it would work perfectly. I placed all the envelopes along the right side of the page and then you can see that I've cut a strip of that till geometric pattern to anchor my photo on the left. Now while I was placing those envelopes I didn't have a lot of you know all the colors were kind of random but as I placed them I tried to balance it out by placing a lime envelope on the top and one on the bottom and then the other random colors are scattered throughout. I will try to repeat those colors as I add more elements to the page, but right now I am fussy cutting this purple scallop from one of the pattern papers. I just love this beautiful pattern and I thought it would be a nice accent here on that teal geometric strip. Now the letter stickers that come with this kit are a bright blue. I know that I want to repeat that blue in the page somewhere else and so I thought that as I uh, add this branding strip to accent that scallop strip that I might use these bright blue strips. Something just wasn't sitting right for me so I decided to pull out the other papers and look at the other branding strips to see what else might work. I found this bright orange dot one and I thought this is perfect. I've got that bright orange envelope on the right side of the page and as I add this orange strip on the left side of the page that will balance things out a bit and make things feel a bit more cohesive. So I'm going to go ahead and get those into place and then we'll keep moving on with the layout. Again, I mentioned that I'm going to be using the bright blue letter stickers for my title. And so as I go to map my photo, I want to, I was thinking that that might be a good spot to bring in that bright blue. I hold up my photo to an, another paper, which actually would have worked well as, you know, as well, but I did end up going with this bright blue paper and I went ahead and matted my photo. The next thing you can see is I'm holding up the title letter stickers to see how they look and I'm going to be really happy with that. Before I do the title though, I pull out the die cuts from the main kit and I'm going to go ahead and start placing them on these envelopes to make little embellishment clusters. I like that green banner, that lime green banner on the top left corner of the photo. It says a little glimpse of our life. I, that's the perfect saying for this, but also it balances the lime green envelopes at the top and bottom of the page, creating a visual triangle. As I go through the die cuts, I, I'm having so much fun looking at all the little icons. There's so many cute little everyday things like the pencil cup that's filled with pens and pencils, the little journal that says keep notes. There's a um, mirror or a vanity that says this is a moment forever in my heart that I place at the bottom. I place the teal floral die cut on the right side of the page, again, just to balance that teal on the left. And then I'm just having fun, again, filling the other envelopes up with some random die cuts. I saw Erica Rose Creates do this on a page that she created with this kit where she used all the pocket stickers and then she decorated them with the little um, die cuts. And so I loved that idea. Thank you, Erica, for inspiring me, inspiring me because that's what I wanted to do here. I'm liking how these uh, die cuts look and I love that I found this blue tag. Because I know that I'm gonna have that blue title at the bottom of the page, this works perfectly to go at the top of the page to balance that title that will eventually go in the bottom. The saying on that tag says, my people are what make me who I am, and I love that. There's so many great phrases and titles and sentiments in this kit, and that's one of the things I have really enjoyed about the Hip Kit Club so far. I found this little coral 
piece to go by the teal flower, it says, never forget this. However, that teal circle by the dog also said, don't forget this. So I decided to switch that out with some chipboard stickers. I placed a little purple doily and then layered the lime simple stuff on top and that did the trick. I'm now ready to add in my title with these cute blue puffy stickers and just look at this font. It is so cute. I'm going to use um, the title Easter Blessings. So I'm going to do the word Easter in lowercase and blessings in um, uppercase. I love the curly Q serifs on those letters and it's just a happy looking font. Now that I have my title in place, I am ready to um, keep embellishing. One thing I thought I might do is add an embellishment cluster by the title to kind of call attention to the title. So I'd start playing with some die cuts in the lower right corner of my main photo, but I don't want to get rid of that banner at the top. I just really like the visual triangle it creates with the lime green, and so that one's going to stay for sure. I like the house because it repeats the red-orange color of the tulip at the top of the page. However, it's feeling a bit crowded to me, so I decided to um, switch gears for a bit and sleep on it. So I'm here, I'm back the next day. You can see my shirt has changed. Um, I placed some phrase stickers at the bottom of the page, but I did ultimately decide to take that house off, even though it was really cute. But I'm going to add more embellishing to the top by adding these fussy cut flowers by the bird. And then I will also add um, this journal tag into one of the pockets. And then in a minute, I will be adding some more fussy cut flowers to the lime green envelope at the bottom. This little tag will be the perfect size to add my journaling. I don't have a ton of journaling for this page, so that's the perfect amount. In this kit, in the main kit, there were also some pocket building stickers with these little sticker buttons on them. I decided to add a couple of those in. I placed a purple one to the right side of the lime green banner, and now I'm adding a royal blue one on the right edge of the paper by this little purple button. That just, again, spreads that blue color around the page and makes it look more balanced. Next, I'll just write a bit of journaling on this tag. There wasn't a whole lot to say, just that I was so happy to have all four of my kids home for Easter to enjoy this happy springtime day in the backyard. So that will do it. Uh, finally, I will fussy cut some flowers and from the pattern paper and just add those to that lime green envelope at the bottom of the page. But this has been a really fun page to put together. I love the springtime happy feel of this uh, collection. It worked great for these photos and I will definitely be back with more layouts using this kit. Uh, I've created three layouts with this kit so far, so if you'd like to see the other ones, be sure to check out my channel. I will be receiving my February Hip Kit Club kit soon, and I'll be creating with that one as well. You guys, thanks so much for joining me. Have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>